Hello, hi, it is William calling from Wee Wee Blogs. Hey, William. It is time to review Armenia's Malena with Kami. Kami. I am thinking about Sevak from Eurovision. Kami, of course, means wind. Let's see what kind of wind Malena has to offer. Devin, are you ready? Let's, <laughs> Let's do, do this. this. All right, Barev, let's hit Palais. Beautiful Eiffel Tower. J-E-S-C, the fountain, the Eiffel Tower, oh, Melina. Whoa. Oh my God. A young Iveta Mukucha. This is sophisticated. Place where you feel safe and free. Handography. Stunning clothes. She is wow. a mature young woman. This is so polished. This is so high level. This is so Athena Manukian. Yerevan is lit. Oh my god. Ooh. This is the kind of wind we all need in our life. So Spotify friendly. Oh my goodness. Everything's a fashion moment. Wow, that lighting. This is so sophisticated. Wow, this video is phenomenal. Wow. All these people but your eyes, your attention go to Malena. Oh, babe! Kami, oh, wow. Kami! This has rhythm, this has flow. The choreography works with the tempo, with the sound. It doesn't have to be over the top, it can be simple and effective. Oh, That's this what this is. is. So Sensuality. <laughs> oh yeah, shoulder, shoulder, run, slay, reach. This is so polished, this so well good. produced. The video is slaying on new levels. Oh, I just love those lights. I do feel it. Yes, that wind is coming out. A live girl. It's so Scandi pop as well. This is unbelievable. Oh! <laughs> you could hear this on a mainstream radio station in Moscow, in Germany, oh, this is the in moment. London. This is several moments. Wow. Oh, yes, honey. It's so club ready. It's got a flow. It doesn't just repeat, it has a flow. Oh, that is a move. That is a move. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Wow. 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 Schnorra Carluzia. Thank you so much. I just need a, that is something. Shout out to Arthur Manukian, the best music video director in Armenia. Shout out to David Suyeren. H.O.D. Extraordinaire also contributed to these lyrics. Shout out to all the people on this list who have contributed to music, lyrics, mix, etc. This was a team effort. Malena is the queen. Y'all have showcased the queen so beautifully. You know what? Armenia, I don't get you anymore. This is so good. It should have gone in the adult version. Walking out? No one's walking out. You wouldn't have walked out of the semis if you had said this. This Kami Kami would have slayed and sat firmly in the top 10 at the adult Eurovision. It is polished, it is super well produced, it is club ready, it has that Scandi pop feel. And Melina, why? By the way, why was her song title last year had she gone ahead, but she pulled out, well, Armenia pulled out of junior Eurovision. But they've come back fighting even harder because this is even so much better. Now look, production on point. The sound, on point. The voice, on point. 
the look on point, it's very difficult to criticize this in any way, shape, or form, because whether you're an adult or a child, this has a universality, a smooth polish. I think Armenia always does a good job at balancing something traditional. There's some kind of Armenian flavor here. I don't know, it's like, I don't know, the 13 green vegetables and spices in that special Armenian dish. There's something you can taste. There's an aroma of Armenia here. And yet it's so modern, so contemporary. They bring these things together. Girl, get me some lavash and let me play Malena while I eat it. This is delicious. The only reservation I have, again, it's adults. This is Junior Eurovision. And I think that we should encourage children to be children. And we should encourage teens to kind of give give teen offerings and this sits to mature but if that's not an issue this is absolutely fabulous and this really does hit quite high for me it's a mood it's a vibe it's not that memorable i mean kami 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 ka it's a basic product that has been polished to shine and in its core you'll find some gl glitter sprinkles it's it's actually quite amazing it's, it's actually quite amazing i think some people might say oh it's too adult but no you need to remember junior eurovision is from nine to 14. that's a huge gap this is clearly more of a teenage performance than a nine-year-old performance but at the same time, we need to remember that kids these days don't just listen to kiddie music. I learned this from our readers on the Wee Blogs website in the comments last year, I believe. Someone in the Netherlands pointed out, actually, you know, people in this age demographic do listen to Spotify. They're discovering more adult sounds. Um, so yeah, I don't think we can say, oh, kids won't vote for this. No, I think that even Disney Channel songs these days lean a bit more adult than they used to times they are a changing and Malena she is at the front of the line wow junior eurovision 2021 you are not playing and i'm living for this our media tends to do quite well at junior eurovision with some entries that i never really cared for so this one i actually do like oh Malena is so professional she's so good she's captivating charismatic you don't even look at her as a child performer anymore. You look at her like she's a star. It almost feels like she's in the wrong competition. How old is Melina? Can I just do some research here? Melina, how old are you? Melina is 15. 15 years old. Girl, why didn't you wait for a couple more years and just go into Eurovision itself? Because... You're just that good. And you know, the lyrics are also very poetic. I know you can feel it, the wind inside, the same thing in my heart that makes me feel alive. Whenever you feel it, don't you think of falling down again? The wind, the wind will take me again to the wilds far away. Higher and higher I'll go. I'll be invisible like you, wind. Our girl is on a journey, and that journey could very well lead to the trophy at Junior Eurovision 2021, okay? From Eiffel Tower in Paris to the sights and sounds of Yerevan. Look, I'm ready to go. This would be a worthy winner. I don't know what else to add, except that this is on point. This is better than a lot of the entries we've had at the Adult Eurovision in recent years. They've got the whole package, song, voice, visual, I'm done. Oh, I'm not done. P.S. I'm glad she finally has her chance to hit that Junior Eurovision stage after not being able to go last year. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap this video up. That's what I think, but what do you think? What is Melina's mood board saying right now? Is Melina on Pinterest? Melina, you should be on Pinterest. Open that Pinterest account, and if you already have one, Put up a mood board, please. And for all the followers and listeners out there, we are on Pinterest. And we will see you later. Bye! Hey, William!
Next up on our Junior Eurovision playlist is Ireland. This is Mel Levi Lawler with Sour Disappear. Yes, honey, I'm gonna be boarding that Aer Lingus flight while I click on this. I know there's an ad running in the background, so I'm gonna introduce myself. Deb and Adorami, wee wee blogs dot Hitting pa lay. The alarm has awoken him up. Okay. Oh, I like this. It's modern. Hmm. Oh, this is building nicely. This is more modern than many of the Irish JESC entries. Okay. Alright, we're going somewhere. Oh yes, we're going somewhere. Oh yes. Okay, like some indie pop rock in the schoolhouse. Oh, I like this. Yeah! I did not expect this. <laughs> you cannot make him disappear. He is visible. He is musical. He is here. This is good! Frozen water. Okay, now I kind of get the gist of it. I'm like... We gotta sit through another verse. Hmm. Yeah, I'm also confused by the frozen one. The way he's looking at the tap, I'm kind of looking at this like, really? Okay, he's giving a little attitude there. That's his pop star moment. Did you see that? He's the born <laughs> performer though. Good connection with the camera. He's not intimidated. Everything's frozen in time, girl. This is very feel-good, very uplifting. This puts you in a good mood. Mark my words, Levi Lolo will be a star. He's got so much star quality. This song, I'm like, okay. The first 45 seconds. And there is our girl, Anna Kearney. Read Where's that the, in the girl description. Singing? Heavenly vocal. Love her heavenly vocal with his indie pop vibe. Yes, this is how you do it. This is so good! He, he's not disappearing. All eyes on you, Mr. Lawler. Okay, he's got his moves. That was some Leslie Roy realness. Freestyle. <laughs> the first 45 minutes, the first 45 seconds really is hard hitting and does grip me by the throat. And I'm like, okay, okay, okay. But it kind of loses steam quite early. Three minutes, 14 seconds, which will no doubt be cut back to three minutes. I'm not living for it. It's basic. It's just okay. But I love him. I love his presence. And I think he's a great star. What just happened there? A flock of seagulls. Okay. Look, that was really enjoyable. I did not expect that from Ireland. It gives me kind of, what was their name? Black Daisy and Sinead Mulvey, the Moscow 2009 act from the Adult Eurovision Ireland. Um, it has that similar indie pop rock vibe. This is very radio friendly. I would listen to this. I would put this on my Spotify playlist. This is good. This is bridging a gap. You know, I think sometimes at Junior Eurovision, songs can be a bit too childish, either in the message or the delivery or the sound. This could very much be an adult song. However, it has an innocence, a sweetness, a, a kind of uplifting spirit that makes it junior. I like this. 
I think we're very much used to hearing Irish language with ballads. For me, it's nice to hear that with something up-tempo, something, you know, rockish, indie popish. It works really well. Like, I, I think I've really only ever heard in, uh, Irish language songs with a ballad, with something, you know, soaring. Uh, but this, no, this is good. I, um, I think he could surprise people. I really hope they give us a vivacious kind of uplifting stage show to match the music video. The music video gives you the feels. I like his freestyling Leslie Roy realness, you know, just doing his thing. It doesn't need to be too choreographed. It doesn't need to be too micromanaged. I think you can let him be free. Because what I love about this music video is the freedom he's giving. It doesn't seem too choreographed. The best bits are where, you know, he's going for it, but you don't get the sense of someone behind him being like, do it again, do it again, do it again. You just get the sense of him having fun, that joy, that spirit. There's also some intensity. He had his, you know, pop star moment, which was also a very nice touch. So in short, it is a thumbs up from me to, in fact, like the structure of the song, like the way the language fits with the rhythm and the beat. I like the production. I like the indie feel. I like the radio friendly feel. I just, I think the performer's great. The performer delivers. I can't wait to see what they do on the stage. Let him be free. You know what? What's Levi's mood board saying? Because at this point, he's got a lot more to offer and I am here for it. Disappear? If you vanished, I wouldn't miss you terribly. But I'll be in Paris. So the first 40 seconds, I'm a boogie right down. Boogie right down. Boogie right down. Follow us on Pinterest because that is where we read blogs is at. The heart and soul of our social media platforms is on Pinterest, so don't miss a beat. And we will see you later. Bye! Hey everybody, it's Suzanne and Ducky Doo. We are here in Atlanta, Georgia, and we are going to um, listen to and review Green Forces, North Macedonia's song, sung by Dodge de Musica, um, right now. So, we're ready. Let's do this. Let's do this. All right, we are going green. We are hitting play. Mm. This looks very new age. Oh. A guy. Oh, wow. A girl in. This is very modern. Pigtails. Balkan realness. Sort of an iridescent look here. Oh, very effective. We're seeing climate events in their silhouettes. Icebergs melting, forest burning. There's like this really interesting going on. They're like present, but not present. The different elements are kind of going through their bodies. This is not a song. This is an anthem. Wow. The message is so clear, so quickly. And it doesn't feel cliche, it feels powerful. Love this. Wow. Oh my gosh, they're adorable. All the Macedonian of them. language sounds beautiful. I would watch them on a television show. Sure would. She can move, wow. They can move. Throwing shapes is the word, that's what they're doing. This is so good. You know, we love a good Balkan ballad. We love a good Balkan ethno bop. This is merging them. It's like now they're in the clouds. Why can't North Macedonia do this at Adult Eurovision? Now all their hair is down, it was up before. Really effective imagery. This is so simple and yet it's so relevant. It's what makes it so powerful. They dropped this during COP26, and now I see why. Shout out to the UN Climate Change Summit. Shout out to Dacha Musica. This is beautiful. And I like how they're a little angry. Oh, they're so cute. They're like, we really need to do something about this yesterday. I love them in the clouds. I love the fire running through them, all of the different colors. Mmm. This doesn't get boring. This builds, it moves, it flows. It's smooth. Smooth as silk. Excellent. Ooh, 
okay, wow. See, I thought they had turned off time for a second. That's good. Like the inclusion of other children, other faces. Universality. The problem affects us all. This is very clear. The embers work well. Wow. Okay. North Macedonia is not playing. That was excellent. They've really turned it up in recent years at JESC. Their songs have been consistently good. Wow. Again, just to recap, relevant. Everyone's gonna get the message. There's that, there's that universality. But even beyond the message, the music has a universality. The Balkan ballad is one of those sounds that everyone can identify with, right? Knez, audio, there you go. Then the Balkan dance number, that's something people really respond to as well. This brings elements of both together because it's a, a loungy dance song and yet there's that strong Balkan spirit, Balkan soul. You cannot deny the soul here. Soul, it's ineffable. You can't put it into words, it's a feeling. And these kids have got that feeling down. It is, this is good. So that was an interesting song. Um, it, it talks about, we are the green forces. It talks about being home. These guys are just so, so precious. All of them, beautiful boys, beautiful young ladies. Um, oh wait, there are seven kids who perform the show, but only four of them are representing Junior Eurovision. Um, first group to represent at... Junior Eurovision. It's a seemingly happy song. These four are in unison. Um, they talk about the green forces. You know, green is actually the color of the heart chakra. Um, but so wouldn't it be nice if it was about banding together at our hearts um, and being full of love? Um, but they talk about the green forces. They talk about being home and so whatever the background is, whatever has been going on, I am going to believe that they have found peace and unity. It was a great song. I really loved the visuals of this with the different elements and, and in the background and um, the way they just included the earth, the sky, fire. It was just, yeah, I liked it. This is beyond a pop song, right? This is a message. This is a movement. This is an anthem. Is this my favorite North Macedonian entry ever? You know, I'm putting it up there. This, I'm talking junior. I'm putting it up there. This is good. This, oh, I am, woo, Lord. Scopia, slay. I am gonna say goodbye now. Me too. We are going to deal with our wasp problem before one of us or one of the kitty boys gets stung by this wasp. So that's all we've got for now. So much love. We will see you later. But first, don't forget to follow, like, subscribe, share on all of our social media platforms. We've got some fun stuff out there. I'm going to see you in Paris. Yay! All right, that's all we've got. So much love. Bye. Suzanne. Hey, everybody. It's Suzanne here in Atlanta, Georgia with Ducky Doo. We are going to review um, Nicolos singing Let's Count the Smiles for Georgia for Junior Eurovision 2021. Are you ready? I am hitting play. Okay. Oh, oh, they are frozen. Oh my gosh, Nico is what he goes by. He is adorable. Is All these kids on their instruments, the girl running the camera. Oh, wow. La, 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 la. A little jazzy in Tbilisi. This is so cute. It's as though he's in this studio. <laughs> yeah, he's a performer. They all look like little adults. Oh, this is lovely. Ooh, a man in silver. Serving that French. They're so cute. Oh, whoa, some backpacker realness. Oh, this is really nice. The styling is on point. He's so cute. La la. <laughs> There's a pink flamingo. The Tin Man. This is so happy. Oh, Mark's wow. pink flamingo. Kooky, quirky. Wow. Wearing his chuck. He reminds me of a young Mika from France. With, with a little bit of Salvador Sobral or something jazzy underneath. So much 
This is great. You know, he's effortless, effortlessly cool. He doesn't have to try. On a motorcycle. This is good. This is good. Oranges in the background. Ooh, an old school telephone. Again, the colors. Look at this. The TVs. The cans. <laughs> it's like he's with oil barrels or something. Back to the motorcycle with a disco ball. Okay, I don't dance a lot. This song has me wanting to move. A little funky. How wow. much fun is this? This is excellent. When I grow up, I want to be as carefree and easygoing as him. Great. <laughs> this is so good. If you close your eyes, you don't know it's a kid. You could hear this in an adult TV show, a movie. But then it is kid friendly. This is so innocent and sweet and pure. Excellent. Oh, there's a big one now! <laughs> They're good at the mannequin challenge. Wow, one of my favorites. Easily one of my favorites, you know why? It doesn't force anything. Everything just seems natural. It's like, sure there's choreography, but he's walking around the studio, he's doing his thing, he's hitting his marks, his camera cues, and he's enjoying it. This was not made by some stage mom. This, it feels like it came from him and his family or something. It's just so easy going. I love the styling. I don't know who directed this video or who, who did the, the costuming, the, the scenery, but it's so good. It just fits. It's cohesive. You know, you feel the overall package here, you know, from those vintage chairs, the vintage clothes, the vintage sound. And yet it's very much today, you know, Alize, y'all remember that song, Jean I'm, what is it, Jean Aymar? You know, I'm fed up. That had a sort of playful kookiness. And this has a more vintage playful kookiness. So that was super cute. Um, I was unsuccessful in locating the lyrics. Um, so other than let's count the smiles, I'm not sure what the lyrics might be in this song. Um, maybe I didn't look hard enough, but so, you know, it opens up with Nico and then you've got his band, all these precious young people who look like little adults um, in, in the band room, the background is yellow. And then Nico begins to walk around and he's, it's as though he's walking around a studio. Um, you see him with a motorcycle and a disco ball above him. You see him, um, you see like a small, pink flamingo, and then you see this large pink flamingo. At one point, a penguin appears. Um, and then you see Nico actually on a television screen. Um, he's got oranges behind him at one point, and then it's so he's walking through um, barrels of different primary colors. His outfit changes are adorable. He's wearing his cute little Converse chucks. Um, everything about this song was fun. Again, I'm not one who tends to dance and move. Nico had me wanting to move to his beat the whole time I was listening. Um, and so if I were to tell you what this video means to me, me too. Um, I kind of feel like that we were just seeing Nico in different scenarios where he was smiling, where he wanted to be happy. But what I do know is I choose happy because this song made me happy. And even if I didn't choose happy, I would still be happy after listening to Nico sing. Let's, let's count um, the smiles. It's funny, I have recently started practicing practicing Ashtanga yoga, um, which is something I've always been incredibly intimidated to do for years, but I've run across this amazing teacher here in Atlanta, Sava, and um, I have been integrated into Ashtanga and have the really unique opportunity of just deepening this practice and and learning how to, um, how to teach it and, Sava is Georgian and um, next year he's actually planning a retreat to Georgia that I will likely miss because it comes upon the heels of 
Eurovision in Turin, Italy. I love this. This is excellent. Depending on the live vocal and the staging in Paris, I think this will charm people. It will, it will charm, you know, young and old. How can you not smile when you watch that, really? I mean, count the smile. let's count the smiles. I'm gonna count a few million of them because when you're watching that, you're gonna be like, oh my goodness. Amazing, Georgia, congratulations. Fantastic, fantastic. Nonetheless, Let's Count the Smiles was a happy, happy, happy song. And I am wishing Nico and his band so much luck at Junior Eurovision. So big kisses to you, Nico. Mwah. Mwah. That's all we've got for now. Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, share. We will see you later. Bye. Bye.